Hello, I'm Marjorie Michelin from the United States, and I'm so happy to be here talking to you. I have a great hand for you for lesson in play of the hand. Now this was an actual hand from one of the team games here at the World Championships. The auction has gone one spade and a forcing no trump. So you have to assume that you're playing forcing no trumps. Followed by a rebid of two clubs and a jump to three spades. This is showing a limit raise with exactly three spades. Now the declarer bids four and a spade is led. Now this is the most important thing to do. You have to plan your play when at trick one. Trick one is the most important play. So you see that you have queen third of spades opposite your ace king jack ten fifth. You have no spade losers. And you have a good diamond fit. But if you notice, your diamond spots are such that you can't run five diamond tricks because your diamond spots block the suit. So what can you do? You know you're off two clubs. Hmm. Let's take a look at that jack ten third of hearts that you own. That can be very, very useful. So you're going to win the spade in your hand at trick one. And you're going to play another spade. And of course, you can't make the hand if the spades aren't three, two, but they're friendly. So you win the, you win the uh, spade trick on the dummy. And now you play the jack of hearts. And what do you do? You throw like a loser on a loser play, but it's not really a loser. It's the unblock of your diamond suit instead. You throw a diamond away. Now you'll be able to, when they return another heart and you rough, or if they cash their two club tricks and make you rough, you'll be able to make this like a champ. And I know that you'll pull the trump and be able to take your five diamonds and five spades. And because you came here, you're a winner. Have a wonderful bridge day, and I hope you enjoyed this bridge tip.